Hi, y'all. All right, so today we're going to do two videos. I'm going to split them up into two because I don't want them to be like half, I don't want this video to be half an hour long. Um, it is all drugstore. Everything that I'm going to use is drugstore, which is kind of hard for me because I don't have, these are the couple of things that I don't have. I don't have a primer, so I'm just going to totally skip the primer, but the foundations that I'm using today, I'm going to mix them. They're really good foundations, and they stay on for a really long time, so, uh, you know, I, I don't even really need a primer, but I also don't really have the best mascaras from the drugstore because I get so many from gratis from my work that I don't really need to buy some, but I do have one in particular that I would recommend to anybody. So we'll get into that later, uh, but that's on part two. Part one, this this video, uh, we are going to do just like the foundation and like the base, like so we're gonna do the foundation, the bronzer, the setting powder, the concealer, uh, we're gonna do highlighter, and I think that's it, and then the next one we're gonna do, oh blush, and then we're gonna do like other stuff. So, Let's start. Uh, like I said, I don't have a primer, but that's okay because I'm going to be using this Infallible from L'Oreal and the Revlon Color Stay. And I'm going to mix them because while this one is very, very light, I was looking at myself on camera and I'm like, wow, Sheena, you look really, really pale. And I am really that pale. <laughs> but I'm going to mix a little bit of this stuff in there today because... Uh, it, it makes me not look as pale. So I'm going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And we're going to talk about this stuff too because drugstore makeup is really a good thing. Like a lot of people are totally against using drugstore. I love personally finding deals at the drugstore because I don't have a lot of money and you know, I would, you know, I would rather pay less for something that does just a good, as good of a job as something that you have to pay more for. So this is what that looks like. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible here and the Revlon Color Stay here, and I'm just going to mix them. I like these foundations a lot. They're both for oily skin, which I don't have, but they're not too drying either, so they just have that really nice matte finish. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. And they're both full coverage, which you know I love. And I'm going to be using a beauty blender today, but if you have if you know anything about the Real Techniques brand, they have a really good beauty sponge. It's orange. I think I saw it at Walgreens and they have two for $10 right now. I almost bought one because I was like, that's a damn good deal. I think it was at Walgreens. Yeah, it was at Walgreens. So go get that and get two of them for the price of like one. So I'm just going to put that all over. Look how full coverage that is. Like, seriously. I do have to say that the L'Oreal Infallible is like a little bit too drying for me, but mixed in with the color stay and also using my beauty blender, it kind of like makes it a little bit better for my skin. But if you have oily skin, I'd totally recommend it. And if you have dry skin, hey, try it out. Oil up that skin before you put it on. See how it works out for you. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to go in with concealers, and we're going to talk about concealers for a second. These concealers right here, I've got two NYX concealers that are in different shades, and this uh, Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio. I guess it's like they're like off. I don't even know what it is. But um, these three are my go-to drugstore concealers. And this is the NYX, Alt, or wait, NYX HD Concealer, and this one is an 04. And I think that this is the most yellow 
concealer that they have and I'm really really yellow but it is a little bit too dark for my skin right now so I have this one which is a one but this one's not as yellow it has a little bit more of a neutral tone to it so I kind of mix them together and I use these underneath my eyes and I use this one as like an all-over concealer or just like a uh, highlighter so that's what I'm gonna do and I would recommend these <laughs> I like them a lot so I'm just gonna use a little bit on my chin a little bit down my nose ooh that's a lot I'm just gonna take it from there a little bit right there I'm gonna put some down here and then I'm going to use a little bit of the the 04 and put it right here and then I'm going to use the 01 and put it there as well. See how it's a little bit, I don't know if you can tell, but this one's a little bit more pink and that one's more yellow. So whenever I mix them, it kind of just turns out to be the best possible solution for my skin. And sometimes you have to do that because like all skin colors are different. Nobody has an exact match to another person. My children don't even have an exact match to me. So, you know, everybody's different. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender and you know, tap that in. I like to put the concealer right here because sometimes I get redness there and also it helps with my contouring. I don't know if I told if I said this, I don't think I did, but the Maybelline Master Conceal that I have is in light. And usually, like I said before, light things are yellow and fair things are pink. And that just really brightens up my under eye. I like that combination. It, it's good. It's a really good concealer. I have no idea how much they are. But a lot of the times at Ulta, and I'm using NYX as, an, as a uh, drugstore because they're so like affordable. But sometimes at Ulta, they have the NYX products buy one, get one 50% off. So it's never hard to buy two products from NYX. Never. Okay, and then as always, we're going to follow it up and set it with the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear uh, Translucent Mineral Correcting Powder. And I think I've pretty much hit pan in here. Yeah, I totally have hit pan. See it? Ooh, I hit the pan. But I love this stuff. It totally brightens. It really sets. It's not too drying. It's really, really nice. I'm going to put that underneath my eyes. On top of my eyes. On top of my nose. Not that I get oily, but... That those are the areas that like to come off first. And also it kind of highlights a little bit because it's such a light powder. If you have darker skin, I would not recommend this one. It says it's translucent, but it's totally not. Um, something that I would recommend for you if you have a darker skin tone is the NYX, um, I think it's HD setting powder. It's just a translucent like silica powder. That one's good. And then also Rimmel has one. It's called Stay Matte. 
And that one I heard is a really good setting powder too. I've never tried it, but because I'm so obsessed with this stuff. All right, and the foundation is pretty matte by itself, so I don't really feel like I need to powder anywhere else. Um, it looks pretty matte. <laughs> it's, it's a matte look. So we're going to add a little bit of um, shimmer back to the face. And this is the, the next thing that I'm going to use. It's a bronzer. And it's by Wet n Wild. It looks like this. And it is called Ticket to Brazil. And I picked this one because it's not as dark as the other one, which I don't have. And then there's another one that's lighter, and I have it. Let me show it to you. This is the lighter one. And as you can see, they're totally different. Like, that doesn't even look like a bronzer, but it's considered a bronzer, and it's called Reserve Your Cabana. And this is more of like a highlighter. And it's the most subtle highlighter I've ever, ever used in my whole entire life. It does have, a, let me see if I can swatch this. I don't know if you can see that. I still have foundation on me. But um, it has like the, the slightest, slightest bit of sheen to it. It's more of like a satin. So if you use like a dewy foundation, you just want to add a little bit of a highlight, uh, I would recommend that one. And these are totally, totally affordable. I think they were like $3. And look how big it is. It's so big. So if you need a good bronzer, I would I would totally recommend the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer SPF 15. This one is Ticket to Brazil. There is a darker one. But, you know, I can't be having that because that would be not good for me. But if it's good for you, it's good for you. So I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush if I can find it. Let's see. And Real Techniques brushes are amazing for the price. I do have a lot of Sephora brushes, and I have an Urban Decay brush, and some e.l.f. brushes, but these Real Technique brushes, they are good. And I actually got mine in packs, and in, like in the kits, you know, and it was buy one, get one 50% off, so I got two kits, and it was amazing. And I love them, and I am so glad that I did it. Real Techniques brushes. And they also have a really good foundation brush. Ooh. It's uh, this one, and it's called the Expert Face Brush, and it is amazing for foundation. It is my foundation brush. If I use a brush, that is my foundation brush, and I love it. They also have this one, and this is the Contour Brush, and these orange ones, not, not the the expert face brush that one came alone and I think it was like eight dollars but these the ones with the orange handles I think there's some other ones that I got they all came in the kit and then there's another kit that I got that has purple handles and they are just amazing I would recommend this one I use for like concealer and you can also use it for contouring they're good they are so good and they never fall like they never have bristles falling out I just like them I like them a lot so I would recommend the Real Techniques brushes. They're not super duper expensive either. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this bronzer and I'm just gonna contour a little bit with it. So I'm gonna start in the hollows of my cheekbones and just give my face a little bit of some warmth. Cause you know, it's like almost winter time here. And we, aren't, we aren't in the sun. I just wanna add some dimension to my face. And this bronzer isn't totally matte. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I like to use it whenever I'm using like super matte foundations. Because in that way you're not looking like you got, I don't even know. No, fake skin. I don't even know. <laughs> but see how subtle it is? It's just really nice. It's a good, it's a good bronzer. It blends really well. I think at Walmart, I know I know at Walmart, 
they have Wet n Wild has another contour palette and it has like a contour shade that has like more pink undertones and then it has like a highlight shade I think that it has a little bit of a pink undertone too that's why I haven't bought it but that if you want to contour a little bit more you can get that pretty sure that's like three dollars too but that's enough for me today you can still see that I put the concealer there so it just kind of like lifts my cheekbone up a little bit and I put the bronzer right there so it also helps kind of shade it. It does it on the other side as well. Okay so next is blush. And let me tell you I am I am I've been obsessed with this blush. I found it and it's been there this whole time. It's just been sitting there on that shelf and I just overlooked it and overlooked it. And maybe it wasn't even there because everybody loves it and they just keep buying it and it just wasn't there. But anyway, I went to CVS and I was looking at the Milani and you everybody knows that their blushes are amazing and they will last forever because there's so much product in it. But I found this bad boy. Let me open it. Do you see this? Do you see this wonderful gold? mauvey, pinky wonderfulness. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful and I use it every day. And it is 03 Berry Amore Baked Powder Blush by Milani and it is the the best blush I've, I've found for me at the drugstore. I use this one. I've been using it every day. It is beautiful. Beautiful. It does have gold uh, like shimmer in it so if you don't like gold try something else but I like this one plus today we're going for like a black and gold look so I'm totally gonna be using this blush and for my brush I am going to be using this stippling brush from elf I'm trying to use drugstore brushes too I'm trying that one for my under eye was totally not but you know whatever <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this on it is so pretty so much <laughs> and I'm such like a old granny about blushes anyway I just love to pile them on I just love them oh my god oh my god why why is this even on this earth again I'm going to tell you it is called Berry Amor Berry Amore it's probably Berry Amore I don't I don't know <laughs> okay Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at my face. It is so glistening and pretty. Oh. All right, so let's go into highlighter, which we don't really need a lot of, but we're just gonna, cause it has like shimmer in it, but I'm, I'm going for like some real pretty face here, okay? So I, this is another thing that I would definitely, definitely recommend you getting if you love a highlighter, because this highlighter is so versatile. It can be pink, it can be gold, it can be bronze, it can be white. It's amazing. So this is by Physicians Formula. And it is the Warm Nudes Physicians Formula Bricks. It, like it's all like, I, I've had it for so long, it just looks like this, it looks terrible. But, uh, oh, Shimmer Strips. The Warm Nudes Shimmer Strips by Physicians Formula. So just, just take a look at that. See, it's got like coppers, it's got gold, it's got white, it's got pink, it's got like pink gold. And you can concentrate your brush in certain areas or you can just blend them all together. Um, let me see if I can swatch it all together. That's what it looks like all together. It's kind of like a bronzy kind of color. But like I said, you can not do that and that's not what I do I usually don't do that so I'm going to grab this elf brush this is the elf small tapered brush and I like to use this for my highlight I'm going to concentrate up like in this area maybe some of that white I'm just gonna get some of that and it's like totally pigmented so you only need a little bit and let me show you let me just show you
do you, do you see it? Do you see it? Let me just... Oh, oh yeah, that's good. That's good. I don't know how much this is. You can go check it out. Physician's formula is everywhere. It's at Walmart, CVS. It's not at Walgreens, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's at Target. Ugh, oh, it's at Ulta. It's so pretty, so good, so good. Look at it, so good. Oh my God. I just wanna put it all over my body. So that's pretty much it. Her face. That's my face. It's easy. Drugstore's got some good stuff. But that's it. Look at me. Look at my face. It looks great. And we're done with this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you do check out some of these products because they are amazing, y'all. They are amazing. Looks good. Next, we're going to do my eyes and eyebrows and all that jazz. So I will see you at the next video. Bye.